Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to handle alerts in Selenium. Let us take an example website. Let's say I have taken Guru 99 demo website. And then if you see, I am trying to enter some customer number and then I am trying to click on submit button. So first what I'll do, I'll without entering the customer ID, I'll just click on submit button. See, there is a alert message which has come. So this kind of alert messages will provide you the information. Do you really want to delete this customer? There is a message they have provided and there is a OK button and there is a cancel button. So I did not provide the customer ID since I don't want to do that operation. I'll click on cancel button. Let's say I wanted to give that number. Let's say one, two, three, four and then click on submit button. See now if I wanted to click on OK button, then it will say that customer cost successfully delete. So there is a issue with the application that is OK, but our main focus is to understand what is a alert. So if you see here on this alert box, it says some message and then there is a OK button in the previous one. We have OK button and cancel button. So whenever you have the main browser on top of your main browser, if you are getting one more small pop up or window which will display some message with some buttons that we call it as alert messages. So now I am going to automate this functionality. How are you going to handle the alerts? So to do that, what we have to do is first you create a new class. I'm creating a new class right click and then go to new and then class example alerts and then public static void main and click on finish so now what i wanted to do is i wanted to take the basic script so you can take from any of our previous classes go there and try to take till you invoke the browser and then copy paste it here so now I wanted to change the URL. I am going to make use of the URL for deleting the customer. Take this and then you'll be having this. So once that is done, now what will happen? This will invoke the browser. After that, what I have to do, I have to enter some value here and then let to do that, inspect the element and then select this value and see input name cust id so this is the property the locator which i'm going to use is name so how are we going to write the script driver dot find element by and then i'll be writing by dot name because i know the name property by dot by dot name and then what is the name here you just go here and copy the cust id and then put it here and i'm going to send some text send text dot send dot send keys so i'm going to enter some value that is one two three four now colon and then enter you need to click on one more button called submit button this is on the application only so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the submit button and see so name is equal to submit so this is what i'm going to take so now go here same copy paste but you need to change it for button so what is the property here we have so we have the property as submit go there and change the submit and since it is a button you need to perform an operation called click so now till this point i hope you are all clear you just click on the button so now if i run the program i'm just closing this application and see what is going to happen it will open the application and it will enter the customer id and gives a pop-up so that is what we are going to achieve now so now once you understand this, you need to understand how are we going to perform the operation on the alert. 
So see the application is opened and it is entering the customer ID as one two three four and then clicking on submit. See this is what we have done. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to perform the operation on this. So if you press your right click and inspect elements also you will not be able to identify this alert directly. So what you have to do so to do that you will not use the inspect element properly directly what you have to do is you, you have to tell your selenium saying that see here chrome is being controlled by automated test, test software that means we are controlling this browser with our selenium browser selenium web driver so what i have to tell my system so you just focus on this window what is this window this is my alert so what you have to do is you go to the code and then driver dot switch to so this is the command you have to use and then dot alert and then you are going to accept if you wanted to click on this ok button that is accept if you wanted to click on cancel button you have to use dismiss so whichever you wanted to do you can use that accept or dismiss i'm just clicking on accept and then click on this now we will go back and see one more time so just run this program one more time and remove this stop it and then remove clear that console and then run the program so it will move to the alert and then clicks on ok button so that is how you will be able to handle the values It enters the customer ID and then click on submit button and then it will click it has clicked on that particular thing and then if you see the next pop-up has come that is customer successfully delete and here also you need to press ok button see that is how it will uh, do the operation so for that also what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one more time and then I'm going to right one more time so that this will also get captured so what i am going to do is i wanted to capture this message also so to do that message capture what i am going to do is after clicking on that first accept button i will store the value alert message alert msg is equal to so what i am going to do is i am going to take my driver dot switch to dot alert dot get text see this is what you are going to have and i will print this message using system dot out dot print ln statement and then take this alert message and then put it here similarly once you print this you are going to get one more alert right so this is my alert message one and then i am going to have one more alert message after clicking on this i'll be having one more that is i'm just making it as two and then make it two and then finally i'm going to close that also let us run this program and see what is going to happen So you will be able to see both the messages. I'm just right clicking and clearing all and then run the program. So you will see the message in the console and also your script also will display how you are able to capture the alert messages. See, it is invoking the browser and then it will enter the value and then it will click on OK button. And then it will retrieve the message and again it will retrieve the message and it will click on ok button see it has complete uh, it completed the operation and if you go and see the console see confirm successfully delete message has come right so for that why it has displayed customer successfully delete message two times it has come so you have to understand why what is the reason so if you look at you are clicking on accept button first and then capturing the message which we don't want to do so before clicking on that you have to put this message let me 
see after clicking on submit button only if you look at the functionality after clicking on submit then only this message is coming then what we have done we have put this string message after clicking on accept button that's the reason you did not get the other message now i will run the program and see what is going to happen i'll close this and then i will run the program one more time and see you will see both the messages you have to be very careful and where you need to give the action like whatever the activity the information where you are trying to retrieve if you are clicking the button and trying to retrieve the alert then definitely you will not get the message because that message might have already gone so now if you see you will see do you want to really delete this customer first message and the second message is customer is successfully delete no no i don't want to do it in very fast i wanted to see the messages and then click on that so for that what you have to do is you have to use a command called threat dot sleep you just queue for some milliseconds let us say i'm giving 5000 milliseconds that means it will wait for some time and then you will be able to capture the message let's say see what is the error here throws and exceptions yeah you just add uh, exceptions so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this in the next place also after showing the second message also i wanted to wait for some time and then i will close so thread dot sleep will hold 5000 milliseconds means five seconds it will wait so that the application will not get closed fastly so what are we learning now so when you use switch to it will switch to the alert accept means it will click on the ok button if you give dot dismiss means it will click on cancel button so you are trying to retrieve alert the get text method also and you are also passing the information now run the program and see what is going to happen so this is very important and frequently you may get some of the pop-ups in your applications so this will help us to understand how you are going to handle these pop-ups when you are working on the real project see now what is happening so it entered see you are able to see the message now because we have put a threat statement threat statement will hold for certain time that is five seconds and then it will perform the operation so that is how you will be able to perform the operations on the alerts okay so this is how you will be performing the operations